guide for manually assigning IP addresses to your devices from the ASUS router interface. In this guide, we'll be logging into the ASUS router that we are connecting through, and then manually assigning an IP address to our device instead of the default setting where the IP is chosen and assigned automatically by the router. This can be useful for use of the DMZ or port forwarding, as well as with IP conflicts common to Apple devices. To start, we'll just need to open a web browser. We are using Firefox in this case. At the top, in the address bar, we'll put the address for the router, which is 192.168.1.1. The router will provide a login prompt, where the default username and password is admin and admin. The first thing to check is that you're using firmware version 3.0 or later on the ASUS router. If you are running an older firmware, please refer to our video guide for updating the firmware to improve the performance and to make this process a bit easier. The main screen in the router is a network map, and from here we want to click on the Clients button, which will provide a list of all devices currently connected through the router. You can see our computer is getting a 192.168.1.103 address, which the router has automatically assigned to it. If you click on the name here, it will give you more details, including the MAC address. The MAC address is like an electronic serial number. All networking interfaces have a unique MAC address to facilitate their identification. The IP is assigned in the local area network, LAM, so we'll hop into the LAN settings of the router to make the adjustment. The process of automatically handing out IP addresses is called DHCP, and we need to go into the DHCP server options here. The bottom set of options will allow us to manually assign the IP. Set the Enable Manual Assignments to Yes. Then below that, select a device from the MAC address pull-down list. You'll see the same MAC address in here. Then, set the IP address to a desired number. It's always going to start out with the same three sets, 192.168.1. But the last number can be anything from 2 to 254. The router will often start assigning from the bottom of the range, so it's preferred to avoid the lowest number. In this example, we are using .50. So 192.168.1.50. And remember to hit the Add plus sign before hitting the Apply at the bottom. After the router reconfigures, you should see the IP assignments listed, which should now match up if we go back to the network map and click on Clients again, 192.168.1.50, as expected. One last thing is to check the IP that the PC is getting to make sure it matches up, which it does. All done.